I'd smoke the crack and then have to take heroin to bring me down because I was so zooted out of my mind and to be able to at least get my head together so I could scheme on how I was going to get, you know, more money to do it, you know, to do the crack again. I had to come down, so the heroin brought me down. So I did both. I had a double thing, and then not, and then shooting the dragon. I was smoking uh, in the uh, in the crack pipe, also um, heroin and crack. So that was chasing the dragon. So um, that was what it was called then. So it, 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 it's crazy, man. It's crazy, crazy. You don't care where you live. You don't care where you end up that night. You don't care, you know, if you're in a shooting gallery. I didn't even shoot, but I ended up in shooting galleries. And you don't care. You just don't care. You know, you don't care what car you get into. You don't care who you talk to. You don't care who your bed partner is. You basically, as long as you can get what you need to get, um, that's how it was for me. Millie doesn't run the group like an outsider. She has 28 years of drug use behind her with nine years clean. No methadone, no pills, and no relapses. But it took two husbands dying, two state prison sentences, and a drug heart attack before she sobered up. Baby. 